American female boxer Clarissa Shields returned to action last month against Emma Cozen at the Motor Point Arena in Cardiff, Wales. The multi-weight world champ, who claims she's the sport's greatest ever practitioner, has a long-running feud with British boxer Savannah Marshall, who refuted claims that Shields is the quote. Stay tuned, as today we're discussing Marshall's comments following Shields' lackluster performance against Cozen, plus other boxing bits and pieces. First up, let's have a quick look at what Shields has been up to recently. Shields' fight against Cozen last month, which earned her a unanimous decision win was her first time in the boxing ring for a year, as she's chosen to focus on her fledgling MMA career as of late. Fighting out of the world-renowned Jackson Wink Gym in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the Flint, Michigan native made her MMA debut last June, winning by knockout via punches, would you believe? She then faced a stiffer test when she went up against Abigail Montez at PFL 10, losing the fight via split decision. The recent bout against Cozen saw her return to her boxing roots, where she's still undefeated as a professional. Not known for her big punching, Shields tends to wear opponents down, and her past eight boxing bouts have gone the distance, with the Americans scoring unanimous wins in all of them. Still only 26 years old, Shields is still a baby in fighting terms, with some boxers, Bernard Hopkins for example, fighting into their 50s. It'll be interesting to see if she comes back to MMA after tasting defeat, which she obviously isn't used to, or whether a rumored boxing fight with Brit Savannah Marshall materializes. What has been the most impressive performance of Shields' career so far in your opinion? Opinion. Let us know below. Next up, we're talking Savannah Marshall and her comments about Shields' last fight. Stay with us. So as you know, Shields was back in action last month, scoring a decision win over Cozen while also defending her titles in the process. And post-fight, Savannah Marshall was on hand to reignite the beef between the pair. Marshall was ringside for the bout and immediately called out Shields for a showdown to see who's the best in the 160-pound division. Both women share all of that particular division's belts, but Shields doesn't seem particularly interested in Marshall's comments, instead choosing to boast of her IBF, WBA, and WBC belts right in front of the Hartlepool UK native. In an interview after the fight, Marshall appeared to pour scorn over Shields' performance, saying, You can't come over, burn everyone's skull out all week calling yourself the greatest, slander me in interviews and on Twitter, and then when it comes to it, give me a fist pump after performing like that. Marshall went on to claim that somebody needs to tell her that her performance wasn't up to scratch, that somebody being her. Marshall, who's also unbeaten so far in her professional career, remains the only person ever to beat Shields. After the pair came face-to-face -face at the AIBA Women's World Boxing Championship back in 2012, who do you see coming out on top should the pair finally dance again? Give us your predictions below. So could a fight between the pair materialize? Well, we certainly hope so. Shields and Marshall have gone back and forth in the past, mainly on Twitter, about who's the best female fighter in the division, so there's certainly tension between the pair. And given the fact that all the division's belts are shared between the two, the the fight would give one of them the chance to unify the division, which would be fantastic for women's boxing. Given the fact that Katie Taylor is set to take on Amanda Serrano in one of the most anticipated female boxing fights of all time next month, Marshall challenging Shields is exactly what the sport needs to carry on with the super fight theme in women's boxing. Marshall is out next month against Belgian Femke Hermans, which means the pair are on similar schedule, so we believe an autumn showdown could be on the cards. And Marshall, who was questioned about the possibility of facing Shields for a second time, said, she's game, I'm game. I genuinely believe it's the biggest fight in female boxing. I know some other people at the moment will disagree, but I genuinely believe it's the biggest fight. We really hope this one gets made. Shields will be eager to avenge her amateur defeat, and Marshall will be keen to take her belts, so there's a ton of subplots to this one. Who's your favorite female boxer right now? Let us know below. Some Natasha Jonas news now. Stick around. Popular scouser Natasha Jonas has had her say on the state of women's boxing at the moment, and it's safe to say she thinks it's going places. Jonas claims that women's boxing is not solely reliant on rivalries such as the Shields and Marshall one, nor the arguably bigger one between Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor, who as we mentioned will face off against each other next month. Jonas was actually beaten by Taylor last May in a super close fight, so it's fair to say she knows what she's talking about, and her old foe will have her WBC, WBA, IBF, and WBO lightweight titles on the line when the Serrano fight rolls around at the end of next month. Jonas claims that women's boxing is in a great place at the moment and other rivalries, such as the one between featherweight fighters Michaela Mayer and Alicia Baumgartner, are great for the sport. And it's hard to disagree with her thoughts. There was a time when the sport was reliant on only one or two fighters, maybe in the Layla Ali era. But now, women's boxing is brimming with talent, and it's fantastic to see. And Jonas, who jumped up three divisions recently to capture the vacant WBO super welterweight title, said, There's a few fights in women's boxing that can do that now. Taylor Serrano's definitely one of them. Sav Clarissa, for me, is more important.
confident because I've invested in Sav. She's my Team GB teammate. Clarissa, I've known very well since she was a kid at London 2012. What else did she say? Well, it's clear to anyone listening that Jonas feels entertainment is the most important thing in the sport, saying that if the ladies are entertaining people with their fighting skills, people will want to tune in. And she's right, obviously. Her fight with Taylor last year was a fantastic back and forth between two championship caliber fighters, which is exactly what the fans are paying their money to see. She went on to describe the Mayer versus Baumgartner fight as tasty and appeared to compliment Mayer for her trash-talking abilities. Jonas also revealed that it's important to have a range of different personalities throughout the sport and that essentially, it's boring when fighters are all nicey-nicey with each other. We would tend to agree with Natasha's thoughts. What about you guys? Jonas was then on hand to give her thoughts on discrepancies in male and female fighter pay too. And with International Women's Day last week, the issue has been brought into sharper focus recently. She said, I saw a tweet from Serrano saying she's now a millionaire. Whether that's because of the Katie fight or because she's with Jake Paul, whatever it is, hats off to her. She's making more money than she ever has before. She's at a level that we all aspire to. However, the fact remains that men's boxing is still far more popular, so the purses cannot be expected to be the same as the men's, as the women's game doesn't bring the same amount of money. And finally, talk of another crossover fight now. Current UFC welterweight champ Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare Usman, has claimed, rather out of the blue, that pound for pound, King Saul Canelo Alvarez needs him for a potential super fight towards the end of the year. Usman's claims are a little odd, as it's recently been revealed that Canelo is making $160 million over his next three fights, thanks to a mega deal he worked out with current promoters Matchroom. The Mexican has a near-perfect record, having only ever been beaten by arguably the greatest of all time, Floyd Mayweather. And Usman, who's not particularly known for his punching power, often choosing to grapple instead, sees himself as the biggest threat to Alvarez. It remains to be seen whether or not the fight will be made, but we think this one is more likely to only ever take place in the head of Usman, as Canelo, who's yet to comment on the proposed fight, doesn't seem the least bit interested. Although he doesn't often use his striking abilities, that's not to say he doesn't possess knockout power. He flatlined Jorge Masvidal last year and also caused the first Covington fight stoppage after putting Colby down with a big shot. We think Usman is probably just trying to cash before it gets too late for him. And what better way to do that than with the world's best current boxer? Do you think this rumor has legs, or is it just fantasy in the mind of Usman? As always, thanks for stopping by today, and remember to join us next time for some more fun and games. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.